welcome back to my dungeon. All right, I told you last week we were going to be working on uh, finishing this up. So what I've done is I've went through, uh, unsnapped it, and did all the painting details, added in quite a few more details, did some dust on it, and here in just a minute I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, I hope you enjoy. First we start off by airbrushing a quick primer over everything before we start adding in our details and washes. Here I'm going in and removing pieces of the sides of the building to make it look like it's been hit or demolished partially in some way to fit with the theme of the diorama it's going into. This next part is fun. We'll take rocks and sand and bits of broken plastic from the building and make rubble inside and uh, we'll use super glue and then spray it with instant set. Here I'm starting the washes. I start out with a red and brown base and then slowly move to darker colors as I move to different parts. Here is a quick look at what the rebel should look like after you're finished when you've used the model and the rocks and sand. Now that we've put everything back together, we can go in and airbrush the outside of the building, adding uh, greens, tans, and grays, and uh, black scorch marks for uh, the explosions. Next, we're going to start by going in and applying washes around the outside of the building, through the windows, uh, just making it look like it's been through the weather, uh, making sure it all runs evenly, and then we add in the uh, rust effect. And next, we're going to add in a little bit of, it's just makeup for the uh, dirt and weather dust effect. Hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Next time we're going to be doing tanks. Uh, both kinds. I did this just practicing a while back trying to figure out how to get it. They're a similar scale to my Gundams and my buildings. But I went to the Dollar Tree, of course, and I found this. This looks kind of like a futuristic tank, so I think I'm going to do it up to where it looks like it might be something that a Gundam would face. And then we've got a literal tank that holds something. I'm going to uh, paint it up and weather it and see what we can get out of it. Um, thanks for